Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be installing Google Assistant on our Raspberry Pi. It's just like that Google Home, yeah, on our Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So to begin, we are going to need a Raspberry Pi, obviously, and also the latest install of Raspbian. We're also going to need a mic, so you could either use a webcam or a USB mic, and also some sort of speaker, or unless you want to play it off HDMI. Now that we're on our Raspbian desktop, and yes, everything is going to be done off the Raspbian, we're going to head over to our browser because we need to actually enable the API. So let's navigate over to console.google.cloud.google.com slash cloud cloud resource manager. All the links will be in the description below. All right, once we're here, we're going to have to create a project. So we're going to hit create project and I'm going to name this uh, GA dash pi or oh, GA pi or GAPI. All right, once the project is created, next you're going to want to head over to API manager, which is by clicking these three little lines and then API manager and then go to dashboard. From here, you want to enable API. Now it's going to be really hard to uh, search one by one, so just might as well type in Google Assistant. And here we have the Google Assistant API. Click on that and then enable it. Project that you're working on will have Google Assistant enabled. The next thing we need to do is create cred credentials for it. So head over to credentials, go to OAuth consent screen. And here you could basically leave everything as default other than the product name. So I'm just going to call it GAPI scroll down and basically I could hit save. Once that's done, I could create credentials and it's going to be OAuth client ID. Here we're just going to choose other and give it a name, G apps, uh, G API, sorry. Hit create. Again, that's my naming factor. You can name it anything you want. And now you created an authentication key. Don't worry about this number yet. You could just hit OK. But what you want to do is on the right side, you see this little down arrow to download it. You want to download that. It's going to download a JSON file, which we're going to be using later. All right, now we're done with the authenticating and adding the apps to your project. Now we're going to start downloading the tools to get Google Assistant working on your Pi. Okay, so let's minimize this because we don't need it right now, but uh, we might have to refer back to it later. And let's open up the console. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have everything updated. Like I said, this is the latest version. I already pre-updated it. So all I'm going to do is sudo apt-get install python3 dev and python-venv. It's going to take a couple of minutes to install. So at this time, you could probably go grab a drink or something. Oops, I forgot the three. Hit yes. All right, now that that is installed, we're going to need some also other dependencies. So we're going to do sudo app get install port audio 19-dev lib ffi dev and lib ss lib ssl dev. All right, now that that's done, let's finish up with the Python. So we're going to do Python 3, M, V, E, N, V, E, N, V. All right, once we enable that environment, we're going to do E, N, V, bin, P, I, P, install, P, I, P, setup, tools, upgrade. Now we're going to do source, E, N, V, bin activate so from here on we're actually in this environment we're going to do python without the three pip install google assistant sdk samples now this will actually take a while so literally go do something for 15 minutes and then come back and check on it All right, now that it's done, we're going to have to authenticate the Raspberry Pi to the API that we were just creating earlier. It's going to be python 
dash m google samples dot assistant dot auth helpers client secrets and remember we downloaded that little JSON file it's gonna be home pi downloads and it should be client secrets and some weird number plus JSON once you hit OK, it's going to ask you to go to this website. Allow it. And authentication has completed. And you're going to see that this pump bumps out of the prompt because the credentials worked. All right, here's a little troubleshooting for you guys. If you guys run into a problem and it's not taking your request, that's because you need to activate some activity controls. So navigate over to myaccount.google.com slash activity controls. It's going to bring you to this website and you need to check this box off. Uh, you're also going to need local history, uh, device information, and voice and audio activity. All right, now next thing is to run the Google Assistant. So it's going to be Python dash M Google samples dot assistant all right here we have it let's give it a try what is the weather like in new york it's 64 with showers the forecast tonight is 64 and partly cloudy tell me a joke one joke coming up what's the first thing a monster eats after he's had his teeth checked the dentist so there we have it google assistant on our raspberry pi so guys thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed it please hit that like button if you've got any questions hit it in the comments below now this is a preliminary installation of google assistant on our raspberry pi in the next couple of weeks i will be doing some interfacing maybe using voice activation as a trigger or a button as a trigger and also probably include some home automation and stuff like that maybe to turn on a light bulb and stuff so hit that little subscribe button if you haven't done so already and also that little bell icon so you get the notification when those videos are going to be out and as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.